Oxtail Burgers at the Yard, Newark, New Jersey. You heard that correctly. All right, I am here in Newark at the Yard. Um, I didn't expect for it to be like this, though. This is actually a good sit-in joint. So they know right now they want a brunch menu, but he said he got me. I came here for two things: the oxtail burger and the shrimp burger. You heard that right, the oxtail and the shrimp burger. So peace, we're at the yard. Um, I'm not going, the hood famous, we got a shrimp burger. We're gonna show y'all. Everybody wonders if it's real shrimp or not. It's actually nothing but shrimp. A little bit of anchovies to enhance the depth of the burger. Then we have our oxtail burger. So we we slow roast the oxtail, put it off the bone. And then we mix it with short rib and brisket, all ground up. And that's straight, pure decadence, you know what I'm saying? So our buns, we serve on a brioche, uh, garlic butter. Uh, we're in brunch right now, so we normally have a butter roll or whatever, but we're gonna finesse it a little bit. So we put that butter on the grill. We get our brioche nice and toasted, nice and buttery. So for all the allergy folks, the shrimp burger is actually cooked on a on a separate separate pan, so we don't ever cross contaminate. Even after we touch it, we we waste gloves in here. I know my folks were environmentally conscious, but you gotta you gotta keep folks nice and healthy, you know what I'm saying? So, um, again, we cook on a high temp, so we get a nice crust on our burger, uh, just like the original, everybody's been to the Walla, um, which we just announced is closed in this iteration, but as I said, we're launching the sauces, the bottle sauces, so everybody will be able to come to all of our locations, get the bottle sauces. Um, so, again, nice hot pan, some, uh, some olive oil and garlic butter in this pan for the shrimp burger. So we started the shrimp burger, everybody used to remember, Thursday and Friday at Burger Walla. Uh, we used to only do a limited amount every day. We open at 11, we'd be sold out 11, 30, 12 o'clock every Thursday and Friday. People would reserve it two weeks in advance. But now it's every day here at the, uh, at the yard, uh, open Tuesday through Sunday, brunch on Saturday and Sunday. Live music, live jazz, best live you know jazz brunch around here. We finesse it, Black Joy all across the board over here so nice perfectly toasted garlic butter on your buns grab a plate perfect toast right so both of these burgers have our masala sauce which is a creamy herb boom it's gonna be toast uh, we're gonna put some spicy pickles lettuce tomato raw onions pepper jack cheese on the shrimp burger the uh, oxtail burger is actually with crispy shallots that we fry uh, dill pickles, tomatoes, and Gruyere cheese. You know what I'm saying? Keep it nice and rich. Again, that um, shrimp burger. Boom, perfect sear on that. Boom, pepper jack cheese. Again, high temp on our oxtail burger. And we focus it on crust. That law of attraction you see on our, on our grill. We get in there. Trying to get that to a nice medium well. Salt and pepper. That's all she wrote. Again, that grill and that that uh, that grill and that sear on that meat. So how'd y'all get started? How, how we get, get started? started? So I was an economist by trade, and one of my jobs was to recruit people to the city. And so I met with every major retailer in the world to come to build, do business in Newark. So ne help negotiate the shop right, Chipotle, Dinosaur Barbecue, Got Whole Foods. And I routinely met with burger spots that were like, yo, it's just not the right time for us. And for me, that meant that they really weren't really trying to invest in, in this community. So I was like, yo, we'll just do our own. I've been doing burgers like this my entire life. Um, and nobody had ever done a burger joint with an Indian twist. You know what I'm saying? So the, the two burgers that you're doing were actually special. Like the Oxtail Burger, we used to do burgers of the month. Every month on a Monday and Tuesday, we would do a different burger. I've smuggled cheese from Oaxaca for burgers. Uh, we've done, you know, scallop burgers. I, I put uh, lobster to sleep for burgers. So again, our crust.
doesn't get any better than that. And that Gruyere cheese, boom, you don't babysit. So we got your shrimp, we got the oxtail. Make sure that the shrimp is, of course, fully cooked. Avoid that cross contamination. Oxtail, hopefully that's medium well. Boom. The crispy shallots on top. So we got an oxtail. We have a shrimp. Won't have no toothpicks, but for my man, boom, we're gonna, we're gonna put a flower in there, man. You know what I'm saying? Make it look sexy like we at brunch. You know what I'm saying? That's all she wrote. We got our shrimp, we got our oxtail. My man. Appreciate you, bro. No doubt. Anything else you want to plug in, bro? No, yo, so Walla Food and Beverage Group, we have three stores. Like I said, Burger Walla. Our last day was yesterday, that was Friday the 2nd. Uh, but Bragman's Delicatessen, everybody know, excellence on Hawthorne Avenue. Uh, since 1937, 85 years this year. Special announcement coming through in the next couple of days about Bragman's. Everybody in the hood has been asking me, when is Bragman's open? When is Bragman's open? Sooner than you think. And then of course our newest iteration, the yard. You know what I'm saying? So um, here to celebrate black joy and all of this, you know, beauty and everything else. You know, excellence here in North, man. So we just here at brunch, Saturday, Sunday, live jazz, DJs on Saturday, um, live jazz on Sunday. We just getting it, man. You know, trying, trying to finesse this thing. All love. Bro, all I appreciate love. you, bro. Hold man. Down, hold down. My man. <laughs> Say what's good though. Going on, she Bruciano, Instagram, how I mean, you feel me? Up here whipping up anything, breakfast, lunch, burgers, shrimp, burgers, oxtail, whatever. Alright, we out here. Okay. It was really loud in there, so uh, I didn't want to. I didn't want y'all to yell at me because last time when we went to uh, Amina's, y'all said the music was really loud. I'm out here in this beautiful park, the yard. I didn't realize the setup was like straight up full fledged restaurant. You know what I mean? I thought it was like a to go spot, but great vibes in there. So I took that hour and a half drive from Philly, and. <laughs> Oxtail burgers. They normally don't make it on the weekends. It's brunch right now, but he was able to make an exception for me. So thank you again, y'all. Appreciate it. Uh, oxtail burgers and shrimp burger. Shh, this looks beautiful. I gotta take a picture of this. The camera eats first, B. What I'm talking about. We need more options like this. This is the shrimp burger. I like the crust. Lettuce, tomato, pickles. Got the onions on here too. That's mando. The yard. That's all shrimp. Mm. That's all shrimp. He meant it. That's all shrimp. Oh my God. And the seasoning, wonderful seasoning. Well. All shrimp, no fillers. This is gonna be one of the most incredible things I've ever ate. I didn't even do the oxtail yet. But when I tell people I want a shrimp burger, I'm exactly talking about a shrimp burger like this. Amazing. Nice spice, nice kick to it. Shrimp burger has the crust on the outside. But then with every bite, you're, it's all shrimp. Did I mention it was all shrimp? Not just shrimp though, excellent seasoning. Good bread option too. Oh, thank you. A wonderful location, but parking can be a little tough. Parking can be a little tough. I'm full, I'm still eating. Mm -hmm. Oxtail burgers. This is the reason why I woke up today. I'm like, I, I gotta go try this out.
Let's do this. Cheers. Delayed action because I was conscious about the sauce. Oh. oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. They put the right amount of oxtail to give it the oxtail flavor, but the short ribs and all that just comes together with the great caramelization on the outside. Does like smash burger effect, you know what I mean? Smash it down. It's fucking delicious, man. These are two, two burgers right here, game changers for me. I'm gonna just say it like that. Fried shallot. Excellent. He's taking the, the burger game to, to new heights. This needs to be tried out everywhere. This makes me want to scream out Wu-Tang forever. You know what I mean? If you need to try something before the end of the year, try both of these. <laughs> Guys. Excellent. Excellent. Um, the yard, Newark, get here. It's that serious. It's the weekend. They're doing brunch right now. Check their hours before you go. That is worth the drive. I took an hour and a half drive. That was worth the drive. I'd come here, easily take a road trip here. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Um, I'm impressed. And with that being said, thank you all for joining me. The yard. I don't know how much it's worth, but make sure you check their menu. Make sure you check their menu, all right? Look at this. I wanted water, they gave me this. Got water in a shot glass, you know what I'm saying? That was banging. <laughs> that banged hard. See you on the next episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider subscribing.